Yeah. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the 30-day challenge. I hope you're enjoying it so far. Today, I'm tying on some hair jigs, a little double jig setup. Special hair jigs, because these were sent to me uh, actually about a year ago from a fellow YouTuber down in Texas. These are hand-tied by SK Crop Catching Adventures himself. Yeah, that jig saved my Texas trip when I was fishing in Canyon Lake. Oh, got him, got him, yes. That's a good one too, yes, it's SK, my man. Thank you so much. Uh, almost a year ago now, and uh, yeah, basically saved my entire trip, that carrot jig. I got a uh, silver and blue jig tied on as well. And the, again, these are hand tied by SK himself. SK Crappie Catching Adventures on YouTube. Go check him out, I'll link his YouTube channel below. Uh, we're gonna be setting up pretty typical late summer, early fall, uh, brush pile, vertically jigging, double jig setup. That's what we're gonna be doing today. Hair jigs are great because, well, you don't have to deal with plastic sliding off the jig and you don't have to deal with live minnows. You know, minnows die and sometimes those crappie, they're sneaky. They just grab the minnow and, and run with it. So we're gonna go get set up. I got a buoy marker out on some brush piles. Kind of, kind of a funky day. Uh, typically, I've been finding them in a little bit deeper water, 18 to 22 feet. I'm in about 19 feet of water right now, but this is like one of the few spots I can find them. I don't know if they went out deeper or if they went shallower. So as the day goes on, we're gonna try to figure that puzzle out. But right now we do have a school on a brush pile. They're super tight to that brush pile. I don't know if they've been chased quite a bit from uh, musky or pike or some sort of predator fish, but we're gonna try to catch a few here. Huge thank you to SK. I cannot thank you enough. I know you guys put a lot of work into hand tying uh, these jigs, these hair jigs, I know they're, they're a lot of work to tie, so SK, thank you so much. We're gonna put them to work today. All right, so there is our brush pile. These fish are super tight to that brush pile. Super tight to that brush pile right now. And uh, people ask about the setup. Well, let's catch a fish first and I'll talk about the setup. Because these rods, they're back in stock as right now, I think. I think they are. And they're gonna go quick. But I'll, let's catch a fish first. And, Yep, got him that time. That time I got him. There we go. Got him on the carrot. Carrot jig does it again. Caught some decent sized fish in Canyon Lake. Almost a, gosh, that was almost two years ago now. And where is my pliers? There it is, almost two years ago now, when SK sent me these things because he knew I was going down to Texas. Unfortunately, we haven't haven't uh, hooked up on a trip yet. Maybe soon, SK, maybe soon. 10 inch crappie, number one. You know what, let's throw this, I might fry some up. Let's throw them in the live well. Throw them in the live well here. All right, let's talk about this setup real quick because I know these are gonna go really fast. These are the eight footers. Eight foot ACC crappie stick jig rods. They're, they're the hybrid casting jig rods. This is pretty much what I use most summer and fall up north. Uh, they're great if you're casting smaller jigs, beetle spins, underspins, and even some smaller crankbaits. And then obviously what I'm doing here, because I'm fishing in 22 feet of water, I'm not really worried about scaring these fish. Um, so I don't need to have that 10, 11, 12, or even a 13 foot rod. Um, I can get away with this eight footer. It's awesome. I mean, if you're looking for an all-around casting jig rod, right here, ACC, eight foot. The other setup, eight pound mono. People ask, you know, is, one is high vis. Uh, can crappie see high vis? Clearly I just caught that one. And this is eight pound test. So don't be afraid to size up. 1,000 size Honor XT PC Fun Reel. And of course the double jig setup. Classic, classic. I mean, this, this setup works pretty much year round. The only time I would probably not use it is during the spawn when these crappie are really shallow. You don't need to have two jigs. All right, we got crappie below the boat. Crappie below the boat right there. 
People ask why is there that black flashing screen on the GoPro? That's because the shutter speed on the GoPro is too fast. It doesn't it needs to slow way down in order to get a solid image on the live scope unit. That's a filming thing. Most of you guys won't have to worry about that. I probably should invest in a uh, other camera where I can actually set the shutter speed to a lower setting so you guys can actually see the live scope. And I can't use the Active Captain because this is an EcoMap. EcoMap and the Ultra series, you can't use the Active Cabin to record live scope screens. Only the GPS map. Garmin, come on fellas, you gotta change that. Just make it an update. Oh, got him on the top jig. Blue and silver hair jig. It must be pretty deep. There's just so much bait in the water right now. I'm having a hard time seeing them on the live scope. I mean, there's a big, see on the backside of behind the boat, massive, massive school of bait fish. And I think my jigs are getting held up in the bait fish as I'm trying to drop down. Because these are, I believe these are 16th ounce jigs. They're just shooting out of that brush pile. See those jigs? Come on, fellas. Thing about hair jigs, you can't really keep them still. You gotta keep them moving. Uh, the jigs are gonna fly right back into them. Yep. Oh, he smoked it. That top one smoked it. He's coming back for it. There he is. Got him. You got him on the carrot jig again. Yeah, these crappie are just sitting real tight in this brush. I've already seen one. I don't know if it was a pike or a muskie. But there's definitely some predator fish pushing them around. As soon as those jigs drop down right there, that guy just shoots up. Here he comes. Thump it. Somebody thump it. So there's that. There's one. I'm running with it. I got two on. Just got one. Another 10 incher. Cookie cutters. Got him. There we go. Man, they are tied to that brush pile. All right, I'm gonna show you on the big camera what they're doing here on this brush pile, because this is this is a tricky bite, even for these 10 inches. All right. So there they are. And oops. Some are suspended, but a lot of the bigger, you know, those 10 inches, 10, 11 inches are going to be tucked in tight to the sides of these brush piles or cribs. And so that's what I'm having to do. And right now, these fish are stacked. This is a big spawning flat, spawning shoreline. And they're out deep. They're out deep right now. Yep, here they are. Let's try to catch a few more. Oh, one thing I did want to mention, because somebody asked this in a, well, I probably mentioned this in a few videos already, but this is the Gamakatsu 3600 box. Phenomenal box for your hair jigs or just regular jig setups, underspins. 
they got foam and there's little notches in the foam you can just slide your jigs in. It's pretty thin, thin profile. You can slide it in your backpack or pretty much anywhere. So there's, there's fish down there. Let's catch them. Make SK proud. I know they're not big, but hey, we're catching them. They're chasing it. It seems like the more aggressive ones have come from inside that brush pile. Usually it's the opposite. Usually the aggressive fish are the ones suspended above any brush pile or piece of structure. But today, those fish inside the brush pile seem to be the most aggressive. Maybe they want it kind of dragged across that brush pile. Let's try that. Oh, there he is, got him. There we go, top jig. That was a little deep. Well, it's been a super slow bite, but um, SK, your hair jigs have been working out. Super tough bite, trying to get these jigs right between some of these brush piles because these fish, the aggressive ones are inside those brush piles or set up underneath those those logs. It's been been difficult. But uh, I will leave a link to SK's, SK's YouTube channel. You should check it out. I don't know if he sells these or not. I think he just does these, uh, these hand tie jigs for fun. But you can ask him. Sorry, SK, if you get bombarded with uh, hair jig, I guess, purchases. Also, this is a great hair jig box, jig box. It's a Gamakatsu 3600. I'll leave this in the video description as well. You can check that out. SK, thanks again for the hair tie jigs. Saved my Texas trip uh, when I went down to Canyon Lake. So huge thank you for that. And uh, We caught a few fish today on a tough day. I've been out here probably about an hour and a half. It's been pretty tough actually. Bite has not been super aggressive. Usually it's super aggressive, but it has not been. So I will leave my entire setup in the link below. Appreciate you watching. Hope you're enjoying the 30 day video challenge series. We'll see you on the next one.